Uh, yeah, that moment when you start a stream and you're like, why am I facing a wall? But yeah, we were down in the cellar beneath Last Light Inn. Um, we fought those enemies whose names I already forgot again. Um, yeah, I think we're just about to head out again. As always, I'm perfectly prepared. And okay. Stop screaming, dude. What's in here? I'm a whole floor beneath you, and it still feels like you're screaming at me. I don't really like this music here. Being a seller kid, aka Keller kid. <laughs> Always. Okay, um, let me just remember what we did. But I think we just walked around here, we explored the cellar. So we still have to go to Demon, for that I would just pick up Karlag. And we have to head inside Last Light Inn to have a talk with Tira. Um, who has to stay behind for Karlag? I think maybe Shadowheart for a moment. Off we go. Last Light has some nice music. I think, actually, the music of Last Light In is uh, the track I listen the most to. Because I can really listen to that on repeat forever. Soldier. I also don't think our relationship with Kalak is like too great, just because we didn't really take her along that much, right? You know, we've got some infernal metal. What should we do with it? Yes! We need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug soon! Aww. That's adorable. And hey, good thing we actually met Damon. All right, come on, we're heading out. Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone packing if you want me to join. All trooped up. <laughs> you know, take Shadowheart's place. <laughs> Now we're talking. Nice. Uh, yeah, come on. Three level ups, we can do that. Did we... Oh yeah, she's a cleric. Did we ever really take her along? Oh well. Mm, another smite, which is nice. And spells. Ooh. As a war cleric, she always has her guardians prepared. That's really nice. Kalak was very eager to take Shadowheart's place. <laughs> uh, close, Luna. <laughs> but we're at the beginning. I'm still vigilant. Mm. What else do we want to prepare? I think Mars Healing Word is actually kind of nice. We've used that with the Starion a couple of times. Um... New DLC at special sp specimens you can put into your archive and learn more. Oh, so basically you can build a zoo in Stellaris now? And then you can build a civilization who tames space fauna. That sounds nice. Are you still playing uh, BG3, Diana? Or currently a little bit on break? Yeah, I think with Mass Healing Word and Spirit Guardians, we do have nice spells. We have Inflict Wounds, we have Guiding Bolt. Mm, I mean, Blast can be nice, especially in dialogue. Yeah, Let, let's go with that. I think we also... Yeah, I just wanted to say, I think we do have more level ups coming here. Channel Divinity, War God's Blessing. Endow a nearby ally with the glory of your god to grant them a plus 10 bonus to their attack roll. Ooh. Is that a reaction thing? Or just for free? It doesn't say anything. I guess it's free. Not close enough, I'm afraid. Do you even know what the current um, Shadowheart's nickname counter is, Luna? I gotta say, I kinda lost track. Um, yeah, I really don't think we are going to use Feign Death like ever. Does anyone know like a good use for Feign Death? Is it a good spell? Is it something I'm not appreciating enough? I mean same for Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope is really nice because basically makes it points for all healing spells. 
but we don't hear that much. One of my players when I DM D D actually uses Beacon of Hope from time to time, and it's always like in really good situations, I'd say. You know what? Let's take it. Maybe 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 we're going to use it. That freedom of movement. Put an ally out of any stun. Difficult terrain can't slow them down. They can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. Ooh. You already have access to a better version of the spell? How? W what's the better version of freedom of movement? Um, banishment, death ward. I mean, death ward is kind of fun. And I always wanted to try out Guardian of Faith because we never do did that. Um, so hey, Beacon of Hope, go away, and we take Death Ward and Guardian of Faith. And let's see how long we are even having Karlak in our team. I also need to lower the volume a little bit for me. Because it kind of feels like I'm screaming. Or I have to scream. Does anyone want to talk in camp? Oh, I don't think so. Hey, good looking. On my way. I think freedom of movement is not a ritual spell, is it? Nope. I mean, it is really nice that it is until long rest. But I think using like a fourth spell level spell slot, ah, just to buff someone. Mm, I don't know. Mind never quiet. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry if this is rude, but. Can vampires fall in love? <laughs> what a preposterous question. Vampires can do anything you can do and a damn sight better. Sunbathe? Swim? <laughs> right. There are a few limited exceptions. That was surprisingly savage, Garlic. Good to know love is on the table, though. It is. With her? <laughs> Though if the table is laden with good wine and meat, love is often left to rot with the salad leaves. I uh, love it. Um, currently on break from BD3 and other RPGs in general. Been more PDX girl last month or so. Well, I mean, that's fair. Did you ever play some more uh, Pathfinder, Breath of the Righteous, or did you abandon that run at some point? I have a notepad on my desktop and I have tabs saved to video evidence. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking my strategy now. I should just bombard you with random shots. Wow. That I fell for that. It was too long. But what's the counter? <laughs> you evil gremlin. <laughs> I did take a nap today after eating lunch and before that was weekly shopping. And I'll just infect my hands after going to shops. Uh, yeah, I mean if it helps not to fall sick so often. Maybe makes sense. I think we should talk to Kalak. It's now at eight. <laughs> Night. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. Oh, yeah. The Jahira. I forgot that she's a fangirl. You know her. Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. Gosh, we're so I've covered told in blood. myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working God, together. That's so adorable. What a day! Uh, um, regarding the counter, Luna, I know I'm kind of working against myself, but I think there was one time where Maratan got me to say it, and I'm not sure if you registered that. Because if I remember correctly, there was no reaction from you never wanted the easy path but i mean we can also just forget that and say it's eight and that hero your heroes with also a boss born true I can't. so gail got any book recommendations for me can i can't read <laughs> 
very funny. Yes, I can read. School put me off big, boring tomes. Sometimes I wonder what I'm missing. Ah, say no more. I'll find the perfect I'm also surprised that she you. asked, right? I might even lend it to you from my library in Waterdeep. Ooh. Ooh. Something with magic, please. And no devils. I think Gale has lots and lots of tomes about magic. I think this is also a place I never went to. Something it kind of feels like stealing, but nothing's red, so it is not stealing. Unfortunately, that doesn't work in real life. Hey, officer, this wasn't red. Rustic chest. I mean, also this, we're basically taking something from a locked chest. But hey, it's not stealing. It isn't stealing, just looting. No one stopped me yet. I, I gotta use that excuse next time. I mean, what? <laughs> Rippling force mail. Force absorption. Gain force conduit when taking slashing, piercing, or bludgeoning damage. What is force conduit? Force conduit. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage against the affected entity is reduced by one per turn remaining. If the entity takes damage while it has five or more turns remaining, it is 1d4 force damage in a 6 me meter radius. I mean, our current armor is just nicer, and I think no one else is wearing heavy armor. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So I think Kalak is also wearing heavy armor. No, she's not, but she could. And I mean, since she has dex 10, I think it actually would be nice. Here we go. Yeah, AC plus 3. I like it. Uh, let's just have a very quick look if we can give some nice magic items to her. Well, hello. Still breathing, despite everything. Come on, Lavender. You have all our magic items. I think I sent all the magic items to camp, if I remember correctly. Ah, well. Should we go to camp? Should we prepare probably? Pro properly? To where? Yeah, come on. Just very quick. Let's see if we can give her something nice, and then we can continue. Hong Kong. Uh, did you just say Hong Kong? <laughs> what are you, a goose? Lucky. Hong Kong. Um. Here we are. Let's take a nice a crossbow. Luminous armor, nope. I mean, I guess with her, we're also mainly going for spell damage, aren't we? Bunch of melee attack rolls while surrounded by more enemies. Plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. Let's go with that. I mean, uh, she currently has the gloves of power. Nah, let's change them. Mm, here, I'm gonna for Misty Step. Or Amulet for Guidance. Maybe Amulet for Guidance, because we have no one else for Guidance in the party at the moment. And we give her Fala a Luve. And then I think she actually has nice stuff. Put those to camp. I have and see, ready to go. Right. I'm really tempted to just jump down here. But now we're taking the safe approach. AKA the boring approach, we're using stairs. Right, hello my. Well, I don't know if you're my favorite tiefling, but you're definitely at least in the top three. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Hmm. Oh, but somewhat hurt. Okay, question everyone. Who's your favorite tiefling in the game? And I would exclude Carla, because Carla is a companion, so she's on another level than all the NPCs. But I think like my f two favorite tieflings are Demon and um, Afira. I think if I had to choose, I would go with Afira slightly before Demon. But hey, Carla, I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured. The other half ran here. 
off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before oh, you nice. run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Why always bad news? So, which one do you want to hear first, Carla? The good news, obviously. <laughs> I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carla to... Touch people! Exactly! <laughs> oh my god. Aww. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. What was the bad news again? I actually don't remember. But I mean, if the bad news are about the fixing, we should definitely listen to them first, right? Mine would be Roland. Roland is also a very good choice. I mean, Afira, Roland, and Damon are like my top three tieflings. Damon, he's so damn beautiful, especially his eyes. They really are. Then again, we're impulsive. Let's go, let's go for fixing first. We're not smart, <laughs> despite our headband of old intellect. Uh, go on, give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Well, all right, this shouldn't take long. I wonder how he's going to install like an insulation chamber around the heart. That doesn't sound like a very pleasant surgery. Same as last time. Uh -huh. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. that you can just do that. <sighs> so did it work? Only one way to find out. Ah, uh, let's go for the hack. And let's hope we don't burn. Uh. <sighs> Thank you. We are a bit far apart, but it's still cute. I can't believe it. Thank you, Damon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. Uh, that oh, for the bad news. engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that. But the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zara um, will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. Oh. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Uh, oh, damn. Gosh, knowing that you have to live the rest of your life in one of the hells? Oof. Well, we'll we'll have to make the inevitable inevitable then. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really. You've given me more than I could oh, ever God's favor or something. It's been my pleasure. Good luck. Both of you. 
Look after yourself, all right? Well, complete the Hellion's heart. Hmm. Are we completely done with the personal quest now? No. Hmm. Well, well. This is the best day. The best day. But she really doesn't seem to be faced by it, right? Let's give her the celebration. I'm so happy for you, Kalak. I'm so happy for me too. Now I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Is that why she asked Astaria to bottle up? Any one in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, <laughs> maybe it was just an old eye. Well, I guess Withers also wouldn't be bothered by the hotness, right? <laughs> oh, well. Hey, Damon, anything for Glad you and Karlak are all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Uh, from the other Infernal Iron, it can make you one armor, helm, and gloss. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, interesting materials. What do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Aww. Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. Ah. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. It's also why you're fighting with it. Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. I think we do have some, don't we? It sounds like you had an interesting time in health. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there. But it was certainly... instructional. I don't remember this at all. Curious. I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? What exactly are we showing him? I thought we used all the adamantine. Absolutely. There's broken bits? Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Hmm? Hmm? Let's see. Well, there you are. Is. Be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Hmm. Flawed held off armor. Oh no, why is it flawed? Uh, latest. Okay, it's also AC 18, which is kind of nice. Uh, you take one less piercing damage, just one of stealth checks. When you are hit by a foe within two meters, it might... What does it might mean? Like, what's the chance for it? 1d4 fire damage. I would say the adamantine sprint armor is still nicer. I'm not sure if that might be nicer for Kalak though. I would say so. I really like the less infernal retribution. I have to say I like this one more. Like, optics, I prefer the rippling force mail. Oh well. What to do? I don't. I'm sobbing. Ah, uh, Bex is sobbing. Poor Bex. Okay, let's give him the other things. Need anything? Mm hmm. I think I found a material you could work with. What can you make of it? I think this is Infernal Iron now, right? It's perfect. 
Really? Just a moment. I'll be able to work this one quickly. Why everything is flawed. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. Ooh, that is actually nice. It is medium armor though, so Astarion can't wear it. But I mean, hey, we can give it to Karlak, right? I do wonder why it's flawed though. Maybe due to the smithy not being like in proper shape? Save with the helmet. What you gave him was the infernal alloy. Ah, together. and that's why it's not like um, like pure, and that's why the we have the floor. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Something to ask. What's that? Where is he? Need anything? Um. Ah, here we can give him the hellish mass. I found some hellish mass. Can you make anything of these? Using something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? Oh, we just have two. I can spare two. I can spare. Hmm. I thought I saw them using them usually. Somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. There. Be careful who sees you using that. Interesting that he always says that. Orthon explosive. Oh, nice. Basically, upgraded alchemist fire. <laughs> um, but I think we have more things we can give to him. Need now. anything? Here we go. Well, well. Lord Helvas Galovs. Um. Where are they? Here. Your weapon attacks the an additional 1d4 fire damage. Your unarmed attacks the an additional 1d4 necrotic damage and can possibly inflict bleeding. I think that actually sounds nice for Lazar, right? And even though they are made from metal, they don't require armor proficiency, so... Here you go, Lazar. I also think that's it, right? Need anything? Yes. Hey, um, we also have to cast Long Strider on Kalax, so let's just quickly do that. Here we go. Let's move. And let's talk to the normal ox first. Mm. To the non-strange one. Oh. Can't slow down. Oh, there's another one. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. So, how did you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Hmm. Well, glad to see you made it too. I remember you from the grove with the druids. I hoped to see you again. Oh. And now I have. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I don't think there are any haystacks or any needles. Oh, let's talk to the strange ox. No. Still incapable. Rude. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. Just the voice alone is so creepy. Ah, oh, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. Ah, uh, DC4. Yeah, okay, as long as we don't roll in that one. Come on, no net one. Well, thank you, game. <laughs> Game's like, okay, I give you two. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. As dark as our, our thoughts are, same. Your minds. The unwanted visions. We are much alike. 
a kindred spirit. But I only wish to be an ox. Do you understand? Curious. Is it like a fastborn ox or something? <laughs> You're trying to run from violent thoughts, too, aren't you? My little secret. Your secret is that you're not as evil as your thoughts? So, what are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. <laughs> Why is the camera angle getting weirder and weirder? And I mean, as weird as the socks is, we kind of are kindred spirits, aren't we? You know, your secret, whatever it is, is safe with me. Good little hero. Saren approves. Curious. The ox is an ooze from Elturel who's eaten the dead bodies of the people dying to the devils. Hmm. Always up for a snack, I guess. Phew. Scurry on now. Well, let's leave it alone for the moment. So weird. I wonder if it's a reference to anything in the uh, Descent into Vernus campaign book. Or just a random, very weird ox. Okay, I think we had a good look around, so I would say that's all the vibes.